Taiwan I'm on vacation. Today is my first day in Taiwan. I want to go to the Rui Feng, but I lost my way. I have to find somebody to help me. Excuse me, could you tell me where I am? Uh, I lost my way. Sorry, I, I don't know what you say. Uh, I, I, I find people to help you. Okay, thank you. Hello, I lost my way. Can you point out where I am? We are here. Here. So how? Where's Rui Feng? Um, here. Here. So how do we go go to there? Um, you can go by MRT. It's just in the corner of this road. I can take you there. Okay. Okay. In Taiwan, especially in south of Taiwan, most of people are willing to give a hand to those in need. People are very passionate here, so foreigners usually have a great comment on Taiwanese. The sun is blessing and it's so hot. Is they only use it on rainy day? It can not only keep out the rain but also show from the sun. Umbrella is a function of sun protect and most of Taiwanese women want to let their skin be brighter. Oh, I got it. Do you want to get it? Okay, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to CNN. Today is May 10th. At the beginning, we are going to take you to the President Conference. President Ma has something to announce. My beloved citizen, I have an important policy to publish. As you can see, the number of stray dogs is growing up so fast that we should make a new punishment rule to those who abandon their pets. Anyone who is kept to discard their pets will be charged for $5 million. The rule will be carried out on May 1st. What? It's definitely the best decision the government had ever made. Just like humans, pets have feeling too. How can we abandon them? They are just like our kids. So I think 5 million is not enough to prevent them from being abandoned. I think we should execute those who put away their pets. That's my point of view. Thank you. Okay, then we turn to Lily. Okay, thanks for the reporter. It's the news today. See you at the same time tomorrow. Bye! People in Taiwan are given a right to speech freely. Everyone can express what's in their mind. They can blame for everything, even the president. <laughs> 